Hello guys, what's going on? So today I'm here to show you um, a little easy quick tip about uh, color picking from photos or from other illustrations. So uh, when you import your image, it's usually going to import it as a smart object if you're running CC or higher. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to um, copy it by uh, dragging it down to the new layer icon down here and then it'll create a copy of it and because you created a copy of the smart object it's going to create another smart object so what you're going to do is you're going to right click and then rasterize layer um, turn this layer off so you won't be able to see it um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to press control T or command T on a Mac and it's going to uh, enable this transformation thing and you can also do the control or command the transforming option I believe it's down here it is free transform control T mm -hmm. so what you're gonna do is after you did this after it's in free transform mode you're gonna hit this interpolation option and it the, by default it's gonna be set to bicubic but you're gonna set it to nearest neighbor and what this essentially will do is that when you size it down like you're gonna size it down all the way to be really tiny and then you're gonna hit that check mark so what this is gonna do is when you size it back up again you're gonna get something like this and this for me has always been easier to pick colors from because usually when you're dealing with illustrations or when you're dealing with photos you just want I I like to limit myself in terms of what colors I need to use because I don't I want to be able to make the like illustration make sense and by doing this you get to choose the colors here so that you can use it for your uh, illustration when you do get to it um, but why this works and why you don't want to set it to bicubic um, I'll show you what happens when you do that so I'm gonna make a copy I just got rid of the other one I'm gonna rasterize it and then I'm going to enable free transform mode and then set it to bicubic so when you size it down like this in bicubic mode and then you make it bigger again I'm gonna size it down just a little bit more what it does is that bicubic mode tries to uh, make up for those pixels that were lost when you uh, sized it down because it's rasterized and it makes the overall image pr pretty blurry um, and you know I have seen people do their color picking like this as well but uh, there's no wrong way to paint and everything like that and going back to this example here like if you're just paint painting from reference a character and stuff like that um, I always have a copy of the actual I always have a copy of the actual um, picture just so I can reference the actual image again that's why you always make copies of things but anyways uh, Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip video. Um, I should have another video up on Friday, Friday, Saturday. Uh, look for those days. And hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, remember to subscribe if you uh, like this c content and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.